do you talk to another adult about their conduct? Well, if that's something that you'd like some help with, then stick around for this two minute top tip. So, as teachers, we talk to children about their behavior, their conduct, all the time. But when it comes to talking to our peers, our colleagues, other adults, it can feel really uncomfortable. And I totally understand why. Now, whilst I'd like it to feel as comfortable as possible, my top tip to help you have these conduct conversations more successfully is share examples. What do I mean by this? Well, quite simply, get ideally three examples that really illustrate the conduct issue you're referring to. And you might think, oh, that's even worse on you. But the reason I say this is because often we don't realize how we're coming across. We don't get to see ourselves, everybody else does. You know, if you've got someone in the staff meeting who looks a bit miserable, you know, they wear that kind of special face of like, <sighs> yeah, and you, you're interpreting that in one way, but that just might be their thinking face. Often when people are thinking and listening, they don't look that happy, they're not there, you know, enraptured in what you're saying, unfortunately. So if you can share some examples that, that illustrate what someone's doing, what their behavior is, and what that, the impact of that behavior is, it can help them understand. It might be that they raise their voice. It might be that they're sighing a lot. It might be that they look unhappy when they're hearing something. The more concrete an example, the more helpful it is to the other person to understand what are they doing that leads to that impression. And if you think about it, most of us have had that experience where someone says, you can come across like X, and we think, how do I come across like X? That's not how I mean to. Actually, if someone can explain what we're doing that makes us come across like X. It helps us understand what that nonverbal, that conduct behavior is doing to have that negative impact that none of us want. So I hope this helps. Um, give it a go. Let me know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hope you don't need to have these kind of conversations, but if you do, let me know how you get on. Good luck.